seven. Yeah, 40, 45 and seven. And thou says, I shall be a lady forever. So that shall no, be. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, where are you reading at? Isaiah 45 and seven. That was 17. That's 47. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create the darkness. No, no. Now, what scripture is that? Oh, it says that. Uh, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. That's in that is chapter. It? It's 21, ain't it? Isaiah 40 and 15, Go, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing. They are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. Yeah. So the, the special of all the nations that the Lord is, loves and who he's dealing with is Israel in right. the Bible. Right, in the Old Testament. Right. Oh, to approve that, to show you that those those people that's in the land of Israel, the fake Jews are not the people. In the Bible it tell you when the Lord puts them back in their land, it's not going to be war anymore. Right, right. It's war happening over there all the time. Yeah, and then the Bible say he's going to deliver can you give me that in Isaiah 2? Right, that's in Ezekiel 38 and 39. Yeah, he's going to deliver them from that war. And that's a push put Libya, Syria, Lebanon, uh, Russia, and Iran. Which the, which the North Country today is considered North America. He was actually talking about North America when he said the North Country, because yeah. Russia is considered the other North in the, in the Bible. You know, so and then you know the, that's that's uh, the Lord said He's going to deliver the children out of the North Country. That's that's talking about us going into slavery in America, and we still here today. Because you know, in, in Numbers it, it say, "He that still at the man, and he shall be he shall be found in his hand. He shall surely be put to death." That's the law in Numbers. You know, so. We were stolen and brought into this country and put into slavery, and we will never return. We will never return to uh, back to uh, uh, so, uh, our own status. We will never. We will never. The, the, first of all, the Native Americans will never return to America, which was their land. You know, we we were never liberated. You know, because the Lord said in Deuteronomy 28. That no no man shall liberate us, or well, shall shall uh, shall uh, save us. But you know, the, and the scriptures also say, "Wait ye upon me." You know, so okay, that's what we're doing right now. Let you me know, ask one you know question. What's sad there? I'll give you. I'll give you a couple. Um, that that picture that everyone sees of um, Washington, you know, on his boat. Mm -hmm. If you look. Right behind him, it's a black guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back then, it wasn't how how the slavery thing ended up being what it was. I mean, they tried to get rid of it at the start. Well, it was always it was slavery. It was well, always slavery. It, it doesn't matter. We're all slaves. That's, to that's why. As it that's is. why uh, America, the colonies, tried to get uh, away from King George. Well, there you rule go. King yeah, George. It was all screwed up. It's always been slavery. Yeah. Look at Theodore Roosevelt with, with a black man and a Native American. He on a horse. He got them walking. Oh, get that prophecy. That's a prophecy, man. Yeah, that's. Um, Ecclesiastes. Now write that down. Okay. Ecclesiastes was that Hold ten on, and five. So that's a celebration of our, that's a celebration of our slavery. Yeah, pull that. <laughs> oh, here it is, right this, here. This is prophecy. You can read it. Okay, Ecclesiastes what? Ten and five. Ten five. Ecclesiastes ten and five. 
There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, as an error which proceeds from the ruler. Folly is said in great dignity, the rich sit in low place. Yeah, the rich sit in a low place, meaning they're poor. The real rich are in a, are in a poor state. Go ahead. And we was already telling you about, uh, did you hear the, uh, what yeah, we was talking yeah, about, Jacob and Esau? Esau is supposed to be a servant, and Jacob is supposed to be the ruler. So in this verse right here, in this prophecy right here, this Bible prophecy, it's going to tell you, I've seen servants upon horses, and princes walking upon the earth like servants. Go ahead. I have seen servants upon horses. Oh, this is... Yeah. It's on a horse. Who, who's who's by a side? So-called Negro slave and the, and the Indian slave. Yeah, yeah. Now well, this that's, one's Ecclesiastes that's, that's 10 That's a sad five. thing to mm -hmm. see, you mm -hmm. know? It's pretty cool because it's in the Bible. Go ahead, finish. Yeah, seen, it is. It, it, you're, you're, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, read. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. They, they're not on the horse with them. They're, on the, they're walking on the ground next to them. Yeah, yeah. like servants, because they were servants. Well, let me let me ask one one question. Mm -hmm. You all believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins? Mm -hmm. For okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're all Christian brothers and sisters, then, are we not? Yeah. Who, who were the first Christians? Who were the first Christians in Antioch? That's why they first called them Christians. Was in Antioch. That's true. That's true. What? And they were Israelites. <laughs> <He's going. laughs> hey, didn't we didn't love it. That, we we had you? to come back. <laughs> Bet you didn't think I'd know that one. No, I know you do. I know some things. Well, I carry this with me for a reason. Yeah. Go ahead. You said it's only in the New yeah, Testament, that, right? That. You don't believe in the Old Testament? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, okay. But this okay. is okay. the only thing I can fit in my like, All right, all right. Well, this is, have you ever heard of uh, Ray Comfort? Um... Oh yeah. Uh, Kirk Cameron. They go out and they preach. Oh, they get up on their, you, want to, you want to get some? some it's his. It's his. That's who. That's who. Oh no, no, no serious. And they go out and uh, they uh, they uh, get on their soapboxes and preach to people. No. Oh, so little. Well, this one, little one, I care. Has all the Bible books in the Bible. Oh, that's cool. Oh, all of them. I ordered it online. You know what the problem is? I'm having a hard enough time. I'm doing one of these things even, with this. Even one. like our history books. This one? They read a little. They've all been changed. Oh, oh, it's cool. But but it, it'll work for you because it makes the white guy mm -hmm. look like something else. Mm -hmm. You know, and like you're saying about your movie. What, what was the name they, of that people, movie again? People should go and see the Django. stuff like that. The Django? And get everything the Django. straight. J-A-N-G-O? Django. D. D. Yeah, well, D. Okay. Hey, I, I can't. I, I only got to see uh, what Schindler's okay. List once. Okay. And heading German blood And wasn't there another one? Okay. Um. Oh, did you know that uh, uh, the Hitler unchained. knew that the real That's Jews the are black? Mm -hmm. he, had, he put it in the book. It's in the book. I, I used to have a book, like but I gave it to somebody. Twelve years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said the real Jews are Swatsa. Swatsa yeah. Swats Swats means black. The worst. Right. Yeah, I know. Right. What was my first we language? Know. Twelve years of slavery. Twelve years. Of Twelve years as a slave. Yeah. You know, as Christians, we are brothers. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, uh, you. Romans, that Romans true. nine and one. Mm -hmm. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I would I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, mm -hmm. to whom pertain That's Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Right. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises, whose are the fathers, and whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came. So he, who did Christ come from? For the Israelites. Who, who, who was he uh, uh, the stock of? He was the Israelite. Christ was the Israelite himself. Yes. You know? You know the tribe of Judah. He wasn't no other nation. He was the Israelite. Oh, is it on it? Uh, it says, uh, 
Who are? Oh, can you give me uh, what's that? Philippians three. I'm thinking about picking it up and seeing and reading it. Philippians 3 and 1. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same thing to you, to me. Indeed, it is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs. Beware. Yeah. There's actually one of three of us in this. Fourth. My great grandfather passed away sometimes. Yeah. Still, still say I'm Philippians 3 and 4. Though I might also have confidence. Though I might have Father. also have confidence in the flesh, if any yeah. other man thinketh that yeah, he, we lived out towards our dress, bro. I mean, <laughs> if any other man thinketh that he yeah. hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe well, of Paul, Benjamin. Paul was an Israelite, even though he was from Tarsus, like she said, he was from Tarsus, uh, but he was an Israelite. Yeah. Go ahead. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of he of the Hebrews, as touching the law of Pharisee, concerning zeal pers persecuting the church. Yeah, he did persecute, but he got converted by who you put a world called Jesus Christ himself. Touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things are gained to me, those I those I counted. Laws oh, for Christ. Awesome. Hey, what was that? Uh, give me Second Corinthians, was it twelve or two? Yeah. It says, uh, "Though you once, <laughs> so you once were Gentiles." Mm -hmm. Is that all right? Well, he is. Yeah, I mean, football Who's going to the Gentiles? Because that's a good subject. Who's going to the Gentiles? Who are the Gentiles? Right. Oh yeah, that was because you got Israelite Gentiles and you have regular Gentiles. Now let us start out because. Uh, all the apostles and the uh, disciples were all, uh, uh, they were all under Jesus Christ, right? So-called Jesus Christ, right? He gave them a mission, right? Now give me that in uh, Matthew 10. He gave them instruction to prove, to prove, to show you that them Israelites, I mean those Gentiles that they were going to, one, the other Gentiles, they were Israelite Gentiles. He gave him a mission statement. Matthew Good 10, work, huh? 10 and 5. Here, right. No, he's going to he's going to say something and a point. Oh, we're going, going to into the made. Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? Okay. So you guys gotta do this where people can sit down. <laughs> <laughs> he's old. You gotta man. be able to stand. Jeez, give me a break. You guys do the stand and old people like me. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, and we stayed out here for hours. You know, and bless, bless you for doing something like that. Go ahead. Matthew 10 and 5. These 12, Yahweh Shai sent forth, he commanded them saying, Go he commanded, he commanded them saying, go ahead. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Don't go into the Gentiles. Which the really? Gentiles he's wow. talking about was talking about the other nation Gentiles. Wait a minute. Deborka, are you <laughs> listening? A point is being made. I'm sorry. You got the book. We were discussing she, the prayer. She's, she's, she's my uh, Bible there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he was just said, okay, we were talking about going to the Gentiles. Yeah. This is this is uh, who the world called. Jesus Christ's mission statement to his disciples. Okay. Go ahead, read. What is, oh, can I ask what Matthew 10 and 5. These 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and command them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, right. into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay. As oh, ye go, go we had that one. priest saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mm -hmm. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Right. Right. You got it. To the Jews. They went to the Jews. I know. Oh yeah, we had that dialed in before. I just wanted to make sure that. <laughs> yeah, you can read all of them. Man. Uh, this is John seven thirty five. It says, Then said the Jews amongst themselves, Whether will he go, that he shall not find him? Yeah, it's talking about Jesus, Jesus who the world called Jesus about Christ. The go ahead. Not, it says, Will he go unto the dispersed amongst the Gentiles? The 
dispersed. Dispersed means scattered. Go ahead. And teach the Gentiles. And teach the Gentiles. So it's two different sets of Gentiles. It's the Gentiles that's amongst the Gentiles. And who's the Gentiles that's amongst the Gentiles? John 735 yep. through, through what? Or just 735? 735. Okay. What? It's, there's, there's, there's something, there's something there to that. There's Gentiles amongst the Gentiles. Because the, the, the 12 were supposed to deal with the Jews. Right. You got that in the Acts? About, what were you going to bring about, up? Uh, about Paul, oh, right? I think you had Acts 21 and 21 pulled up. They said it was preaching to the Jews only. Yeah. And uh, give me uh, John 10 and 49. X. Uh, X 11 and 19. It says, Now they which were scattered abroad upon the, upon the persecution that arose, arose about Stephen traveled as far as Phoenice and Cyprus mm -hmm. and Antioch, <laughs> preaching the word to none but, on, but unto the Gentiles only. That's Acts 11, 19? I mean, I, was, I said Gentiles. <laughs> <laughs> they are Gentiles because they don't know who they are. Yeah. It says, wait, wait, let me read that over. Sorry about that. It says, now they would scatter abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen, travel as far as Phoenice and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. Jews only. That was a whole mission. So when Paul was going and traveling to those other regions, he was going out to reach to Israelites that didn't know who they were. They were from, they were from the from Jerusalem, but they somehow, some way through a migration in uh, history, they went to the other other places in the earth, in the earth, in, that, in lands, you know? So he had to go get them. He had to go preach to them. Okay, Debbie. <laughs> what? I'm just writing this down so I can check it all out. Well, that, that should be something that, uh, Aye, aye, aye. Man, I cannot see. <laughs> Matthew 11 and 49. No, John 11 and 49. And one of them named Caiaphas, being the high priest that was saying, Year said unto them, Ye you know nothing at all, nor consider that it's expedient for us that one man should die for the people, that the whole nation perish not. Mm -hmm. And this spake he not of himself. But being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahweh Shai should die for that nation. Mm -hmm. And not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. That, that were scattered abroad, which are Gentiles. What's that, uh, give me, what's that, James? The opening of James says, go to James right quick, James 101. So not only did he die for the ones that's in, that were in Jerusalem, but the ones that were scattered abroad, which were Gentiles. What you got? And then somebody, what's that? Uh, I, I, what I call out, uh, second corner. Looks like you got the easy part of this. Twelve and two. No, that's not an easy, job. It's not easy because you always got to pay attention. Well, no, 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 I meant, I meant in the Bible. Within. In the Bible, it says we're all one body. We're all we all have an office. We have a job. All right. James one. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and 2. 
Now this is Paul. This is Paul. This is Paul, yeah. Go ahead. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Ye know ye were Gentiles. Go ahead. Ca carried away unto the these dumb idols. Yep. Even as ye were led. Mm-hmm. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaketh by the Spirit of the Most High, call call it uh Okay, that's it on there. What would you, you have? And well, then uh some, yes. matter of fact, uh in Romans, Paul called them the uh the ones that were broken off. They were broken off. So they had to be grafted back in. <laughs> You know where that's at? That's uh, Romans 11. What did I call so we get James. Yeah, James 1 and 1. Go ahead. <clears throat> James 1 and 1. James, a servant of God and the Lord Yahweh Shai to the 12 tribes which are scattered and abroad. That's three. his real name. His real name is not Jesus Christ. Go ahead. My brethren, count it all joy when ye shall fall into diverse temptations. Now read that over again. My brethren, count it all. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Scattered. All right. 12 tribes scattered abroad. James, a servant of God and of Yahweh Shai, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Oh, so who is James talking to? He's talking to the Israelites that are scattered abroad. So the ones that are scattered abroad are Gentiles. You know that that, um, that word servant is, is not correct. Really? The word, the word is doulas. Doulas? What's that in Very Greek? Slave. Slave. Mm -hmm. Slave. So I'm a slave of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, being a slave to mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. being bought. Well, slave and servant is the same thing, but would you say? Uh, I don't know if you want to say that, would you? Yeah. Uh, a servant seems like someone that can walk away. A slave. No, that's not true. I'm bought and paid for, okay? I have yeah. no problem. Ex if the Lord, like you're saying, if mm -hmm. the Lord is black, mm -hmm. hey. That then he whatever you know God is God you know when you stand before the master mm -hmm. which I like to look at it like that mm -hmm. as a doulas a hey, whatever I go to hell I go to hell oh it, there's know, no it's hell not like, that's it's another not, thing there's no hell because that one that one like that one make God merciful and when it tells you about hell in the scriptures it's talking about the grave. Or a state of being a, a slave. Or not waking a up. A servant. Because they tell you in Ecclesiastes. Uh, no, don't tell me that the bad people. Says, no, I no, don't no want to, there's hey, two. It says, it says heaven with bad people? No. You want us to go in? We can go into it. Oh, no, well, if you can. Yeah, let's go into it. <laughs> let's go into it. What's you're that, gonna, Ecclesiastes? You're going to tell, gonna tell me that a bunch of liberals and all that stuff is going to... Oh, no, Everyone, no. No, no, listen, no, listen. Oh, no. Hey, hey, turn when to you, take notes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you... Now she's... When yes. you die, when you die, every spirit goes to the Heavenly Father and you receive judgment done in your body. Now, that judgment takes place on Earth. That's why you have people that come down that's born, that's crippled, that's, that have bad hearts, that, that have jacked up bodies and that die horrible ways in their life that's judgment you 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 play out your judgment on earth all right it's probably one of the best views on that i've heard yeah you want to wonder why people come are born jacked up it's because of their judgment because of what they did in their previous life oh that's that's going to another subject reincarnation the reincarnation mm -hmm. uh oh ah, she's giving up on you <laughs> yeah, I got a scripture. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 21. Yeah. Who knoweth the spirit of man goeth upward. Yep. And the spirit of beasts goeth downward to the earth. Yep. That's the only thing that go downward. The animals. Beasts. Where animals. are they going? They go to the earth. They're part of the earth. Tell their, me about their my life, dogs. Their life, Tell me about my dogs. Their life force goes to the earth, and then they be made again. Okay, now. But the spirit like of man, the spirit like of people, that. they go to the heavenly Father because the heavenly Father made well, this spirit. I, I, hey, I just want a job cleaning dog, dog doo doo. And then it tell you when you leave your body and go up there, you have a body that's up there already, prepared for you. I got um, Genesis. 15, 15. Well, you ever heard of it's, it? Says it's, it's a terrestrial body and then it's a celestial body. <laughs> 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 no, 
Nah, he, I'm losing, losing him. I'm losing him. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> All right, this is uh, this is reincarnation right it's here. It's too much for him. This is uh, Genesis 15 and 15. And thou shalt go unto the fathers in peace. Thou shalt be buried in a good old age. But in the fourth generation, thou shalt come hither again. Yeah, you're going to come back again. For the iniquity of their Amos and no, not. Of the Amorites. And the Amorites is not yet full. Yeah, yeah. yeah it said thou shalt, it said thou shalt be buried. He said, wait, read from the top. It said uh, Genesis 15 and 15. And thou shalt be buried in a good old age. Thou shalt be buried in an old age. When you get old, what do you do? You die. You give me a clue, that's 12 and 10. So that's talking about them physically putting your body into a grave. But in the fourth generation, thou shalt come hither again from the iniquity of the Amorites. Yeah, he told that to Abraham. He's saying that the Amorites, uh, they're going to be wicked, and then your, 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 your children are going to take them. Put them, take the land from them, which are the Israelites. Uh, Revelations 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Now, how, how, now how the Lord is going to, how did them that pierced the Lord back 2,000 years ago going to see him when he comes back? <laughs> Right, because they're reincarnated, because they're back on the earth. They might have came like four times, five times, six times. You know, that was a particular way they died. They came back. That'll be, that'll be an they're especially going to be we'll here when the Lord comes back. <laughs> so the Lord remember things. He remembered that the people that pierced them, they're going to be here when, they, when he comes back. I got another one. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return oh, to the earth. That's the scripture I wanted. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Mm -hmm. And what, what was that? Ecclesiastes 12 <laughs> and 7. Where are you guys going to be next weekend? <laughs> Probably here again. Probably. Lord willing. Lord willing. Lord willing. Lord, do you guys drink pop? Pop bad for you. I'm just asking. It's not Water. good. Hey, I'm a diabetic. Water. So what? <laughs> you don't do that. Water. <laughs> okay. So oh, the you, spirit returned. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. The spirit returned back up to the Lord. Then how's that hell? That's a good one. That that that's that. We'll ponder that for next time. And then if reincarnation exists, don't when they say you go to hell, you hear hell, you in hell for eternal, which means forever. So I can reincarnation exist then. I don't know. And, I mean, it's something to study. And another thing to show you that hell is a condition. What did Jonah say when he was in the belly of, of the uh, hell, the, the fish? He said, "He said I'm in the belly of hell." That lets you know that hell is a condition. Now, if hell was this place where everybody wouldn't burn eternally, why would it be the word be used so loosely? Well, at the end, how come? Uh Hell well, and Hades are thrown into the lake of fire. Hmm? Hell and Hades is talking about America. It's thrown into the lake of fire at yeah. the very end. After... That's how! After Look, the hey, thousand boss. years... Hey, after the thousand up, years... After the thousand years of Christ's reign, Satan will be loosed again, and at that time... That already happened. You know judgment. when that happened? You know when Satan got loose? When? Around the time of the Renaissance period. When the Renaissance, that's he when the so-called white man came into power. That's when he came back in power. Because before, before the so-called white man came back and came in power through the in the Renaissance time, you had an age called the Dark Ages. Right. Which the Dark Ages were ruled by black people. That's why it was called the Dark Ages. King uh, 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 King Charles, King, uh, James, Charles, King uh, James, Charlemagne, Charlemagne, King Charlemagne. Uh, uh, Constantinople. Oh, Constantine. Constantinople. Constantine. Constantine. Right. See, back in the Renaissance period, those so-called white men that were living in the mountains. They were living in the mountains. Known as Petra. Yeah. You know, the Caucasus Mountain. The Caucasus Mountain, not Petra. Caucasus Mountains. That's where the Caucasian. Yeah. The Caucasus Mountains. Right. That's where you get the word. The the, the word Caucasian. Right. Yeah. Well, you guys were in. You were in. Yeah, my legs hurt. Hey, you guys were very 
very We see you guys next week probably. Well, 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 we will try. All right. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it's it. nice. It's nice. <laughs> Look it's... at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, he asked me he asked me what I was and I said Lithuanian. He says the hell with that guy. <laughs> he must be going there. I, I told him I was Bohemian. I'm a I'm gypsy. I don't know. Hey, if, you, if, you, if your spirit led you to, to be here, hey. Any discussion about the Lord and yeah. God. But to hear you going into slavery, that's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. And most most people that's, that are Edomites, they leave. When we start talking about the slavery, they leave. So we don't know, man. We, we can't look at you and say you're Edomite. We don't, we don't know that. Spirit bearer witness with our spirit. Hey, you are the children of God. Right. Hey. Our people have a zeal for knowledge. You, you can look at, you can look at. A zeal what, for God. Right. Well, I mean, it, no. it's it. You understand, you know, you, you know that there's a God. I, I take Christ as, as my savior. Mm -hmm. Falling at his feet. If he wants, if he wants, if he wants to morph his self into anything, okay, whatever he is. You know, mm -hmm. I wasn't brought. I wasn't brought up with the color. My, I was brought up with uh, what you are, your ethnicity. And that's another thing. Um, well, I mean, slavery we, back then uh, in Europe, it wasn't based upon skin color. It didn't start to get based upon skin color until the America, the American slavery. Well, I tell you what. Go to Ireland. It was usually based off class or ethnicity. Right. Not, not your color, your, your skin. All right. I mean, come on. You had, you had black uh, generals in the uh, the Roman army. Oh, another thing. George Washington was not the first president. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, this guy, his, uh, he's on a two dollar bill. His oh well, <laughs> there. Oh no, I'm just, uh, you know, two dollar bill, you know. I got one at the house. Yes, How about? Uh, What's his name? David Barton. John Hanson. John Hanson. John Hanson. John Hanson. He was the first president. He was black of America. And, then and this was during the time of, what was happening? The war they was having? Civil. Revolutionary. Oh, the revolutionary war. Yeah. Just yeah. Well, I tell you, I tell you who I Because uh, Washington was a, was a general before he became the president. And who was at the helm of, of, of the white of the White House was was John Henson. The the fellow that I I I use for um, history, his name is David Barton. And he's got yeah, check in his wall about Matter of uh, fact, not just the candy, he, I thought about yeah, here you stem go. cell stuff. I researched a little bit about that. Um, there's this man in the 80s and 90s. Okay, okay. well, I've never seen a $2 bill with him. Yeah, he's, a, he's in the, he's in the council because it's like a council program. I forgot what, he was having some type of meeting. They had, and he was in the council. I think that's when it was And it says former presidential, president of con con continental, Continental Congress. Yeah. Yep. Back then, I, our forefathers didn't have this uh, the, the, this this thing about looking down upon a black person. You know how how this thing happened with you know wickedness. Well, yeah. Come on. I mean, that's 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 just the norm of, of man. You know, we're just we're we're all evil at heart. Yeah, some is not everyone. Well, no, I mean, no. we 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 in these flesh. This flesh is, is evil. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, righteous. Yeah, like my dad's going to have to drive every day. But you tell you it's the righteous, and then it's tell you tell you it's the wicked. Already, you know, so he can't drive very well. As far as as far as I see myself, the way I look at it, you know, I mean, I haven't sinned as badly as others, but my sins. Are just as are equal. I tell you the Bible. In the Bible, it says, uh, "Give me that. Be not overly righteous and be not overly wicked." Well, I'm not neither one. So. And then tell you our, our righteousness is but filthy rags. Yeah, right. I, so I the Lord want us to be humble. You know, the Lord want us to be humble. Humble. We can't justify ourselves. Oh, I can't. I, I, can, I, I can be humble, but you know what I can't be is. Um, 
we all have done evil. Well, yeah, but just just to look upon, you know, that I'm anything because I'm worthless. Seven, 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 seven. Oh, chapter seven. Yes, yes. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I. Ecclesiastes 7 and 16. Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Be not much, be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? It is good that thou shouldest take hold of this. Yeah, all so I mean, yea, also from this withdraw not thine hand. So the Bible said, don't be overly righteous, don't be overly wicked. Well, what's what, what wait a minute, the uh, there was something said about uh, the fellow that goes, oh Lord, and blah 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 blah, you know, God, God, I'm glad I'm not like him. Oh, give me that, you know, <laughs> that's a bring that up, yeah. 16. The, Lord, the yeah. Lord made sure I can't, I can't, I can't do the quotes. I can only talk by what I have read. I know you talk about. Yeah. You talking about the, the Pharisee and the. Yeah, uh, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so whatever, and then God, and then He that's says, right. that's right. That's it, bro. But, but, but then He says, what? Hey, go in your closet. This, this you want to get with God? No, I think it's the 18th chapter. Bro. Sorry, T. Uh, Luke 18 and 10. Two men went went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself: God, I thank thee that I am not as as other men are extortioners, unjust adulterers, or even as the publican. Mm -hmm. I fast. <laughs> yeah, as this dude. You know, right you really, yeah, I mean, that's got to, you, you got to say it, that do it with, 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 with the whole, you know, you know, I'm, I'm good. He's, he's a, yeah, he probably look at this away guy. From him, like, yeah. Even as you know, hey, the publican. There you go. There you are. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it says, uh, even as a pub publican, I fast twice in, in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standeth afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven. Yeah, but he even, like, look up. Why would, so humble. why would you, would you do so? I mean, God. To, to he the, was humble. To the master. He was humble. Go ahead. But smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went went down to his house justified rather than the other. Mm -hmm. For every for everyone that exalted himself shall, shall be a base, yep. and he that humbled himself shall, shall be exalted. Yep. That's true. That's true. You can't justify yourself before for the power. Where's Caesar? Man, oh, yeah. he exalted himself. Oh, give me a God. Give me a. Is that wisdom of Solomon? I mean, wisdom of Solomon 14. About the idol. It's uh, sorry, not. 14. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because this is an idol. This guy, he lived in around the 1500s. His name was Cesare Borgia. See, it's a history behind, behind this image. Right. This guy lived in the 1500s during the Renaissance. Well, what about the Shroud of Moran? His dad, his dad was the Pope. His dad was the Pope. Oh, well, yeah, then that would be a good guy to make the picture of. Right. Where's my Solomon 14? Where's my Solomon 14 and 9? For the ungodly and his, unga and his ungodliness are both like alike, hateful unto God. For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. Oh. That which is made shall be punished well, together. Doesn't this, does, isn't Read this that over here. The, first, <laughs> the first commandment? 
It says, for that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. Yep. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles. So who's, who's, who's the Lord going to punish? The so-called white man for making an image like this. Any white, having, any person. And having everybody uh, mention it as Jesus. Well, any person that, no? that has an idol. Right, well, we're talking about this particular idol. Right, but they're all, anything, don't make mm -hmm. anything of it's God. It's talking about any idol, but we're talking about this idol right now. Oh, okay. Because this idol is, is uh, it's famous. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, sure. World renowned. Yeah. Well, how many, how many, no. how many, how many times have you had a movie with that? Come on. <laughs> it you says, know? that even upon the idols of the Gentiles, there should be a visitation, because in the creatures, in the creature of the most hot, I mean, and the creature of the Most High, they are become an abomination. I mean, so, so, I'm sorry. In the Creator, why is that creature? Yeah, because in the creature of God, someone person. Oh, in the creature of the Most High, they became an abomination. Talking about in the eyes before men. Oh. Because, because uh, according to the Bible, the Lord made the people. He called them creatures. All right, go ahead. They become an abomination and the stumbling block to the souls of men and mm -hmm. a snare to the feet of the unwise. Yeah, only unwise people worship that and count that as Jesus because they don't do no research. Go ahead. For the devising of idols was the beginning of a spiritual Oh, and they don't read. They don't read because when you read, it debunks that. When you read the Bible, it debunks that. All right, go ahead. For the devising of idols was the beginning of the spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. For, for neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. Mm -hmm. For by the vain glory of man they entered into the world, and therefore shall they come shortly to an end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, they shall <coughs> shortly come to an end. Go ahead. For a father afflicted with an untimely mourning, when he had made Im made an image of his child. He made an image of his child, his son, Cesare. Mm -hmm. Cesare Borgia. Uh, Pope Rodrigo Borgia yeah. the Sixth. Yep. Um, that's that was a picture of his son. Yep. So oh. basically, he was calling himself God. He says, I'm God. Himself. Oh, they do call it. They call the Pope Father on Earth. Yeah, Father. Yeah. The Pope. Well, actually, any priest, as far as well, you go no, they call they call the Pope Holy Father. Yeah, they call a priest the Father too, <laughs> which is against the Bible. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, I'm. I'm. I'm she's going. I'm going. <laughs> Sorry. It was a pleasure. All right. Uh, Thank you. All right. See you. How good with that? Have a good day. Thank you guys for coming out here and doing this. is one of the greatest things I've seen. Oh. And not being afraid of anybody coming up and being a heckler. Yeah. Oh, give me that in Wisdom of Solomon 5. Let's go back to that. It's crazy. Oh, hyped up on ecstasy. <laughs> uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1 Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness Before the face of such as have afflicted him See we ain't, we're not We're doing nothing but what prophecy is talking about We're standing before the face of them that Afflicted us with boldness Go ahead And made no account of his labors yep. Which is slavery yep. we, we don't You know we, we never prospered mm -hmm. It says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the... Matter of fact, what's your nationality? I'm trying to think. On my dad's side, Swedish and Polish. On my mom's side, Irish, Scottish, and I think English. So you've been here for so long, you might be Israelite, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're a uh, soldier? You're a spirit like one, man. You're a soldier? Mm -hmm. You've you never been in the military? No. I actually get asked that a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the way you stand, I don't know. You're a spirit like an Israelite, man. I yeah. thought, I, matter of fact, I thought he was Irish, man. 
Seriously. Yeah, you, you look Irish. Yeah. But you know, you, you never know. <laughs> you never know. See, a lot of people, a lot of people walk past and get mad because they think we point at white people saying all white people are yeah. Satan and the devil. But there's, there's actually white, there's actually uh, people uh, like us that are Israelites among white people. You know? And so, you know, and, and you know, we, we don't care what people think because if the Lord wanted... The, the Lord, if the Lord wanted you to get this, He gonna He gonna send you to it anyway, you know. And you gonna be here standing like you are right now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. listening <laughs> like they were. <laughs> you I can't sit here and quote scripture back to you guys. I haven't picked up a Bible in a long time, let alone go to church. But but you know what? What is everybody else doing? See, you could be out enjoying the good time plan. Mm -hmm. And, and having a drink, you know, but you chose to stay over to uh, spend your time over here. You yeah. know, that's something an Israelite would do. Commune with this word. You know, because is you know, a, 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 a person that's a, of, of the nation of Israel would want to want to hear this. When they hear scripture, they drawn to it. Man. It's like it's like a magnet. You know. You know, that's our people had that zeal. The, the Bible says they have a zeal of God, but not according to righteousness. Meaning that they, they drawn to it spiritually, you know. Got that right. My sheep should hear my voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, man, that's what I was trying to pick up earlier. <laughs> so you never know, man. Just, you know, pray, pray to God, man. Pray to God that he show you. Man. You know, that he, you know, basically get his, give you this truth, man. Because these doctrines of this world, man, are not. The doctrines of this world are, are unprofitable. You know, because because they teach you, they teach so many lies. And then one of the one of the biggest lies that they teach is you're supposed to celebrate Christmas. When in Jer when in, uh, Jeremiah the ninth chapter, I mean, was it Jeremiah ten, ten, uh, one through nine, basically basically debunks that. And the, the whole Christmas tree thing. And uh, decorating the Christmas tree, or cutting the tr tree down, and putting it in the house. Holiday, yeah. Oh, it comes from Babylon. Yep, it comes from Babylon. <laughs> yeah. You know. So that that alone lets you know that they're not on the right path, because you're not you're not supposed to. And, and then that's those those pagan that pagan worship is worshiping of other gods, man. Worshiping false idols. Uh, uh, mainly with Christmas, Semiramis and Tammuz. Babylonian figures. Yep. And Nimrod. That's another one. Yeah. yeah during that time of Christmas, they had all these trees. I mean, these trees and stuff lit up. Decorated. With lights and shit. Yeah. And Christmas music. <laughs> <laughs> Because secretly they have you worship other gods, but that's the Bible say I will I will send you to a, to a, uh, oh, you are, you are. A, a a nation with me, and you will serve other gods that neither ye nor your father have known. You know, and then, and then a lot of our people don't don't research what they celebrate. They just oh it's tradition. You know, see a lot of people don't understand that the majority of these people. Uh, Matter of fact, two thirds of them are going to be destroyed, and the Lord is going to deliver the elect. The elect is going to be them that are one third and under forty four thousand, and it's going to be people that's looking like me, people that's looking like you, all different type of people. Because our our, our our nation is uh, is um, scattered amongst all nations. They look like different people. Like for example, uh, Bruce Lee, he was an Israelite. You know Bruce Lee, the, the the late former Bruce Lee. Yeah, he was an Israelite going to the spirit. You know, he was a straight up Israelite. You know, and um, who else? Who else is Israelite? John Travolta. John Nicholas Travolta. Cage. Robert De Niro. You know, I can't forget my boy. It's like cool the black time. Yeah, yeah, Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. <laughs> So our people are gonna be looking all different. When they get delivered, they're gonna be looking like why why are these people being delivered? Robin Thick? Yeah, Robin yeah, Thick. Robin Thick. Uh, 
You know, people are going to be like, why are these people getting delivered? Which, when the Lord delivers us, gonna, we're going to be looking like all different type of people. You know? But we're all the same, though, because we're, we're of the tribe of Israel. You know? That's the great mystery. You know? Got something? Oh, and the main idol that the so-called white man wants you to worship is uh, his image, which is that, uh, I mean, is, uh, his mark, which is that mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, which is being now, what is it being called now? Uh, the positive, positive ID. Positive ID. Yeah, it was the very chip. It was under the Verichip Corporation. Yeah, because they want to put that vibration out there that this is a positive thing. Yeah. So now the company, it used to be Verichip, but now it's called Positive ID. You know, because it's a subliminal message, they sending out a, a, seminal, a subliminal message that this is positive. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. You know, like, um, Martial law, that, that's coming, that uh, martial law, RFID chips is coming. Uh, concentration camps. Concentration camps is coming to America. And the only way you're gonna FEMA be- FEMA already has those camps set up in several places. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. And like since 9-11, all US citizens are considered domestic terrorists. Any person that's served in the military, yeah. if they uphold their oath, they are domestic terrorists. Yeah, true. True, true. Yeah, and you have the FEMA campaign right there. Yeah, yeah, that's coming to America. And already with the government observation, the drones and all that. Them executive orders is already, you know, established. All you gotta do is activate it, you know? Especially if a, a terrorist attack happens, you know? A uh, uh, quote, a uh, quote, unquote, uh, stage terrorist attack. You know, cause, cause I, I, this country, this country loves to, to, to attack people and say it was a terrorist attack, even if it's this country. Oh, they already. Yes. Yeah, sorry, you was talking. About? Because they have, they have something in Georgia called the Georgia Guidestones, which, which, is, is like a, uh, is like a, uh, uh, something that they want to keep. Or whatever, and, and on the Georgia Guidestone, it says, it says, this is it. It's actually a, a, a stone in Georgia. It says the first thing on the top. It says maintain humanity under 500 million. So the, with that being over seven billion people on Earth, they they, they want to kill off the majority. You know, basically they want to slaughter. And how are they gonna do that in America? You see those those brand new guillotines they got now uh, on on Alex Jones show that was a that was a truck driver driving into a military installation. He he said he was driving um, he was um, doing um, secret um, um, he was doing secret mission I mean not missions but uh, trips he was carrying top secret sensitive items from one location to another and and some kind of way he he got to the base and they were unloading and when they when they un, when they when he saw in the door when they opened the door they were all guillotines being stacked up from wall to wall to be dispersed amongst all the concentration camps because oh, yeah. you know in the bible says i saw the souls of them that were beheaded hey, give me that dog for uh for for the uh you, you getting that dog? yeah you getting it because people are going to actually, that's going to actually happen. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You know, and then, and then, and then, in the, um, what's the name of that, that, uh, that bill, the, um, that, they, they got another executive order. It's called, uh, Project Megiddo, and it's targeting all people who believe in, in, uh, in the Lord. All people who are religious. It's a, people who are, who are um, believe in Christ, in Same. Jesus Christ, as a terrorist, man. Now, this country, on the, on the, on the, on the money it says, in God we trust. If, 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 if that were so, why, why are Christians being targeted? People who believe in, 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 in the Lord, you know, in Christ, in, in Yahweh Shai. Well, that's what really his name in the Hebrew, is Yahweh Shai. 
because the the God that they're talking about on the money is Satan. Yeah, because it's that view, not how he actually yeah. was. It's actual. It's they actually. It's actually spirit. They actually consult with with demons, with with spiritual beings. You know, they 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 pray prayers called incantations over over all the, all the all of their plans that they everything that they come out with all their wickedness. Are you uh, you know about Bohemian Grove? Yeah, I've heard about it. It, like, it happens the in July. Celebrities, yeah. All the uh, uh, politicians, the president. Part of what is it? The Illuminati, Bohemian Illuminati. Is what it's called. They go and worship a big owl, a gigantic owl. Yeah, I've seen Bold. the pictures of it, like the entrance, whatever. Yep. And they and they and they sacrifice a child. They sacrifice a child to them. Yeah. This is this is actual picture inside that forest. Them worship. That's the owl right there. Yeah. And they all gathered around in hoods. <laughs> the owl is, is is called Molek. Uh, and this is actually um, in, in Leviticus 18 and 20. This is Leviticus 18 and 21. It says, And thou shalt not let any of thy seed, which is thy children, pass through the fire to Molech. <laughs> That's what the fire is for the, for the owl statue. That's interesting. So that's an actual picture of a biblical or something that's in the Bible. You wonder why so many damn kids go missing and they don't find them, never find them? Because they're using them to sacrifice. They're going to those blood rituals or something. No? It says, uh, to, it says, and, th and thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech. And you see it was a big fire in front of it. It says, neither shalt thou profane th the name of thy God, I am the Lord. Oh, uh, here's another uh, secret uh, 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 ceremony they go doing right here. I don't know how the hell they got this picture. You see, they all gather around in circle, gowns, they're wearing gowns and shit on, and then it's an altar right here. Yeah. They consult with them demons and stuff. You know? Basically, to curse us, but they can't curse us, you know. See, when you hear the word conspiracy, conspiracy is not, it's not a, 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 a bad thing. It's actually, conspiracy means to breathe together. It means a bunch of people come together for one uh, idea, you know? There's another one, 2 Kings 23 and 10. He that defileth Tophah, which is a uh, land in Jerusalem, he said, which is in the valley of the children, I mean, which is in the valley of the children of Hinnom, that no man might might make his son or his daughter to pass through the fire to Molech. And this is actual, like if you if you actually Google Molech, it, you it'll actual it will actual information will start popping up about the Bohemian Grove and this this owl, mm -hmm. you know. And then if you look at the like like if you if you if you look at some places on the spot on the dollar bill, there's actually owls hit because they believe that they they they, they worship the owl because they want the power of, a, of the illumination. It's, yeah. it's about the the owl's eyes and for them to see spiritual things or whatever. They have because, a, a special oil on their eyes mm -hmm. that they can see through through the dark. That's where the term Illuminati comes from. The, the actual, the actual owl mole, yeah. You know? Here, I gotta, I gotta do something. Because I believe originally, before the Illuminati became what it's viewed as in mainstream society today, uh, as a bad thing, it was actually a white Christian thing called the Bavarian uh, Illuminati. And mm -hmm. it started off as people coming to be illuminated and like, be brought towards the eyes of God and then they misconstrued it and they changed it into something worse than it started as. 
Yeah. I mean, it's actual. The, this this whole society is based is built up 